In this video, we will learn why direct connection leads are used, how to use the direct connection leads, what to do when you cannot make a direct connection, and how to correctly earth the signal. Direct connection leads are used as a way of applying a transmitter signal to metal utilities to help you identify and locate a specific target line or utility. As standard, your TX transmitter tool tray contains an earth extension lead, a direct connection lead, an earth stake and a high strength neodymium magnet. The direct connection plug is inserted into the accessory socket on the TX transmitter. The red clip on the direct connection lead can be attached to a metal conductor such as a pipe or street light. If you cannot use the direct connection lead to clip directly to the utility, use the magnet in an area where metal is visible. This will help the transmitter signal to couple to the utility. If no metal is visible to connect the magnet to the utility, then you can use the wrap method using the red direct connection cable. Use as much of the cable as possible to wrap around the structure. Once you have made the connection to the structure, you must earth the signal using the black lead. This is most commonly done using the earth stake provided. For your safety, you must use the locator to scan the ground before inserting the earth stake into the ground to avoid hitting any shallow cables. Once the earth stake has been placed into the ground, attach the black clip on the direct connection lead. Where possible, try and use moist or wet ground, as this will improve the TX signal. The earth extension lead can be used to earth the stake further away from the transmitter if there is no suitable ground nearby. If there is no suitable ground available for your earth stake, you can earth the signal by clipping the black lead onto a nearby drain cover. For your safety, only power on the transmitter when you are no longer touching the metal utility, leads or earth stake. The unit will start in standby mode. To activate the transmitter, select a frequency and choose an output level. You will notice a tone change when the unit is generating the signal. You can now trace the transmitter signal on the target pipe or cable. For more information on how to use radio detection products, always refer to the user manual or contact Radio Detection to find out about our training classes.